Now, today's guest co-host is a tech enthusiast and a gaming industry leader. As the founder of Tbreak.com, he helped bring major publications to the UAE like IGN, CNET, and TechRadar to the Middle East. Please join us in welcoming Abbas Jafar Ali. Abbas, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you very much for having me. I'm also known as Dr. Tech Support, and I've <laughs> solved many tech problems for many people, including some in the studio right now who will go unnamed. Well, as we know, Tbreak <laughs> covers tech. You've mm -hmm. brought some amazing industries here to the UAE. You've got your hand in almost every pot when it comes to tech. But what would you say your passion is? And I hope you say gaming because we have a lot to talk about. Oh, the thing is that that keeps changing. I mean, as technology evolves, uh, sure, gaming was one thing long time ago, but then you've got smartphones, you've got cars, you've got home automation. It just keeps moving. AI, 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 AI. Everything is AI <laughs> nowadays, isn't it? Every single thing. The home automation thing, uh, by the way, Abbas was definitely talking about me because I literally <laughs> message Abbas every five minutes going, Abbas, my iPhone isn't working. He helps me. Um, talking about home automation, I know we're not going to focus on it too much today, but I have to say I am a recent convert. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't want the ring camera. I didn't want Alexa in my house. And now, you know, it's just a quick, Alexa, AC to 24. Like, oh my goodness. But where is it going to end? So what you're doing right now is super amateur. Everyone can do super that. Super amateur. Right? Everyone can do that. I'll tell you the latest automation that I had set at home. Okay. I have a Tesla, and anytime I sit on it and I hit the reverse gear, the gate automatically opens. So that's where we're kind of going to. Yeah. yeah. Is it efficiency or is it laziness? I mean, efficiency. I know Teslas drive themselves, efficiency. so it's not doing anything. <laughs> 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 now, Abbas, this is a big week for tech, especially mm -hmm. right here in Dubai, right? right? So what can we expect with Jitex? What are you looking forward to? What are you most excited about? Jitex is such a phenomenon now. It's insane how big it has become over the years. And companies like Microsoft, Oracle, both B2B companies, they all demonstrate everything that they have on the cutting edge of technology. Mm -hmm. So I am very much looking forward to checking out everything new from these guys. Oh, OK. What about the startup scene? Because it seems to be booming. That's right. That's absolutely right. In fact, I think uh, Jitex introduced a separate event last year where which was focused very much on startups. And you see such wonderful innovation coming out of people from there. Uh, in fact, I know a couple of people that participated last year. And you get to learn about so many new things, things that you never even thought of. And sometimes things that you have thought of very, very remotely, but they're already there. So it's quite an interesting part of it, yeah. Now, Abbas, in terms of uh, tech advancements in the past 10, 20 years, I think my, for me, the most significant one has been social media, uh, mm -hmm. people being able to get information from each other rather than mainstream right. media. Uh, so I'm really interested to know what you think the most significant advancement has been recently in the world of tech. Look, I think AI is the buzzword right mm -hmm. now. Uh, it starts from communication, and I think there is so much more to go right now. We're very much starting the, we're scratching the surface of AI right now, and I think the potential that it has across every single industry, we're not just talking about tech, it can help you do things that are unimaginable right now. Yeah, absolutely. I think this is a very big year for AI, especially in Dubai. You know, earlier this uh, earlier this year, actually, Dubai has actually rolled out chief AI officers across all government entities. What do you think about that? I think that's phenomenal. I think that's a fantastic step for the government to take. Uh, they have recognized that this is definitely the future, and I think we're definitely pushing towards it. What do you think we're going to see from that, though? Oh boy, very, very hard to imagine, right? I mean, it's such a new field that it's, uh, it's, I mean, we've got generative models coming out right now. The other day, Google released Notebook LM, which creates podcasts out of just a small note. And it's phenomenal to see how good that is. It's crazy. I mean, you've got Facebook, they've got their own AI. You've got uh, obviously Apple doing Apple intelligence with the new iPhones. Everybody is jumping into it. And then ChatGPT has become a household name, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Incredible. Everyone knows about it. Um, I've actually just recently discovered the AI note takers on video calls. Mm -hmm. And it's absolutely phenomenal, especially, you know, it actually gives action points for each person within the video call afterwards. So all of these things, of course, AI is benefiting, benefiting, benefiting. But we have to also talk, as we always do, whenever you have AI, you talk about, it's taking our jobs. Um, where do you see that going? Like, what do we do? We've got to, like, adapt, right? Sure. It's just a shift in the way we work. It has happened multiple times before, right? So I think it's just something that we need to change our mind frame yeah. about and look at it from a different angle. 
there will be so many jobs created for AI in the future. And I think that's a great thing to look forward to. Makes sense, yeah. Well, actually, that is my specialty because I wrote a whole book on the subject, but I want to get your take <laughs> on it. I just casually <laughs> dropped that in there, <laughs> by the way. Yeah, well, OK. <laughs> 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 what do you think, how did you think that's going to impact us in the Middle East, especially with the whole future-proofing conversation for companies? It's, it's early days, right? It's right. very, very early days. So I really can't predict where things go. When uh, you look at, for example, LTE or 5G connectivity, we had so many applications that we never thought of at that time. Mm -hmm. Social media, for example, didn't exist. So we live in a world, I've got a very interesting story to share with you. I was on my way to San Francisco just last week and my daughter messages me while I'm up in the air at 35,000 feet. Wow. And she says that, Dad, I need an SD card reader. Now, generally, I'm the one who carries it, so it was in my bag, but she needed it for some school presentation. So I go on noon up from the air and they've got this 15 minute delivery process. I order it, it's done, and 15 minutes later, she has it on there. All of this from 35,000 feet over. This is the kind of world we live in today. It just boggles my mind. That is incredible. That is incredible. <laughs> I can't wait for that. <laughs> I feel like I would be remiss if I didn't ask about the gaming industry because sure. I'm very passionate about it. Sure. And uh, we're used to sort of the same video games that come out on PC, they come out on PlayStation, they come out on Xbox. Um, but I know that more and more people are getting into virtual reality gaming, <laughs> more AI is being added into video games. Absolutely. What are you seeing the coming trend when it comes to the gaming world? So one of the technologies that I saw was NVIDIA demonstrating something called ACE. Now, the way ACE works is that instead of you sort of playing the games with your controls, you're literally talking to the characters and using AI in real time, they are able to answer and talk back to you. It's mind blowing. They had a demo of uh, us trying to solve a murder mystery in a hotel and you had to go and question every single person there. It's literally you're walking up to a person and speaking to them in first person and they're replying back to you based on your previous conversations wow. as well. It's mind blowing. I'll finally have some friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't push it. <laughs> Well, lots more to talk about, but up next we are revealing an exclusive story with a world leader in virtual reality and artificial intelligence. It could only be meta. Stay tuned.